Should you invest in Morgan Stanley? Let's analyze it on growth shares. Before we begin, if you aren't familiar with the factors and metrics I use in this channel, I've made a separate video detailing everything to get you caught up. This analysis is divided into three factors, the business, the stock, and the price. Within each factor are a total of 14 metrics from business growth, performance, to intrinsic value. And because each company belongs to a specific sector of the economy, my analysis normalizes the data so that you can compare grades between companies of different sectors. Each of the three factors and 14 metrics are given a grade from 1 to 100, with 51 to 60 being considered average. When we've got all three factors graded, we combine them to get our final grade. Most companies will fall into that average range, since most companies are indeed average long-term investments. I want to stress that this analysis is meant for long-term investors. I encourage you to pause this video anytime so you can better understand the numbers. Let's look at the company's business. The business factor accounts for 45% of the analysis. The business is the most important part of the analysis. Everything else should be secondary when it comes to long-term investing. The question we want answered is, do we think this is a good business to own? The business is made up of these eight metrics from growth, efficiency, to market dominance. Each are weighted based on importance to the business factor. So here are the eight metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's business grade. Now you know whether this is a good business to own or not, so let's then look at the stock. The stock factor accounts for 35% of the analysis. The stock is important because we want to know if investors see value in the same business. We still want a return on our investment. The question we want answered is, will the stock grow sufficiently to justify an investment? The stock is made up of these five metrics, from performance, dividends, to Wall Street analysis. Each are weighted based on importance to the stock factor. So here are the five metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's stock grade. Now that we know the business and the stock, we want to then look at the price. The price factor accounts for 20% of the analysis. The price is important because it tells us whether the company's stock price is attractive enough for us to buy in. The question we want answered is, what is the most we'll pay for the company's stock? The price is made up of only one metric, the intrinsic value, or fair value price of the company's stock. Here's the company's price grade and fair value price per share. So before we get our final grade, consider becoming a growth shares patron and get access to my spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link on the description. Let's put our three factors together to get our company's final grade. And here is our company's final grade. This analysis uses public financial data and a proprietary algorithm to come up with the company's grades. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Comment below. Want to talk business? Email me and follow the instructions on the screen. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.